Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks for July 2022. This month we'll learn how to set up the Unformed Scheduler. The scheduler, if you're looking for the scheduler, it's going to be in the server manager. Up in the toolbar, we have the scheduler. So what this is, is it's going to give the user the ability to run a rule set on a schedule. So maybe you have a report you've written that you want to get emailed uh, to yourself uh, once a week or once a day. Um, or let's say, for instance, I have this rule file here that's importing some documents uh, from another system. And we're going to run that rule set uh, one time. So uh, maybe, maybe you're not comfortable running command lines. Uh, so this gives you the ability to build a command line with uh, very minimal uh, input required. So I said uh, one example was a reporting. So here is a uh, little exceptions report we have available in our uh, sample file um, that you could schedule as well. Um, we are providing the file name of the rule file and the rule set name. Um, that is the minimum requirements for this command line. Um, additionally, I am going to be providing um, for it to create a PDF, and I could also provide an email parameter for that rule file. So let's say I want to run this rule file uh, uh, every Monday at uh, 5.30 p.m. Um, I want to check off all months. I want to check off Monday and we said 5.30 p.m. So we want to make sure we get hour 17 and minute 30. So as soon as I hit save, that's going to be scheduled. Uh, if you did not want this to run uh, and you want to deposit, you can always check off disabled and then it will not run. Uh, if I wanted to do a one-time run, let's say for instance, I'm uh, using a rule file to import some documents in, from this rule set, I could check off everything, but I want a specific time. Let's back that up. Today is the 20th, so we only want it to run on the 20th, and we will do July as well. So that, that way I got uh, pretty specific there instead of checking everything off. And that's going to run one time for me. All right, so that, uh, that's going to run a command line for you that's going to be executed at the server level. and. Uh, um, there are many things you can do with the scheduler. You can, you can create any rule file you want and set it up and run it here. My name is Dan Schmidt, and if you have any suggestions or comments about tips and tricks, please email them to dans at synergetic-data.com. For unformed tips or tricks, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you next month.